हेलो ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू ट्यूट थेरेपी दिस इज अ कोर्स ऑन टी ओ सी टी ओ सी स्टैंड फॉर थ्योरी ऑफ कॉम्प्यूटेशन फ्रॉम द वर्ड कॉम्प्यूटेशन वी अंडरस्टैंड दैट देर इज समॉर्ट ऑफ मैथ इन्वॉल्व इन दिस कोर्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द थ्योरी बिहाइंड दैट कॉम्प्यूटेशन न इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोसीड वी नीड टू लर्न अबाउट सर्टन बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स ऑफ टी ओ सी द फर्स्ट थिंग वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इज अबाउट अ सिम्बल सिम्बल इज अ बेसिक बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए बी सी दीज आर द एल्फाबेट्स इट माइट बी एनी नंबर इट माइट बी एनी बाइनरी नंबर वन और जीरो It might be any numeric number, one, two, three, anything. It is just a basic building block. No, collection of various symbols, collection of various symbols, is known as an alphabet. So an alphabet is defined as collection of symbols. and it is denoted by this expression alphabet is denoted by the expression summation if i want that there are two symbols a and b in a particular alphabet i will write the expression as alphabet is equal to a comma b in this format i'll let's say i want another alphabet over symbols 0 and 1 then i will represent in this format no the first thing which we studied today was symbol the collection of various symbols forms an alphabet now the combination of the various combinations of symbols under an alphabet forms strings so the next question is what are strings now you might have studied this in the course data structures which is a prerequisite that is string is defined as an array of characters now in order to form strings we need alphabets let us say there is an alphabet a comma b and i want to coin certain strings based upon these this alphabet it might be following any criteria so let us uh, name a few strings for this alphabet it might be just a or b double a double b a b a b a b b a triple b three times b any possible combination of strings can be formed with the help of the alphabet a comma b let us take another example in which we define the alphabet as 1 comma 0 so any combination of strings formed out of this alphabet is 0 1 Zero zero, double one, zero one, one zero, and so on. Therefore, we can use any uh, number of permutations and combinations to form the string of a given alphabet. Now, let us take an example in which we want to design. certain strings we want to form certain strings over the alphabet 
ए कॉम बी विच आर ऑफ स्ट्रिंग लेंथ टू ओनली दैट इज द मैक्सिमम स्ट्रिंग दैट इज आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू डिजाइन द दो स्ट्रिंग्स आई जस्ट वॉन्ट दो स्ट्रिंग्स हु आर ऑफ विच आर ऑफ स्ट्रिंग लेंथ टू फ्रॉम द एल्फाबेट ए बी ए कॉम बी नो दो स्ट्रिंग्स विल बी द स्ट्रिंग लेंथ आई रिक्वायर इज टू सो द स्ट्रिंग्स कैन बी डबल ए डबल बी ए बी और बी ए द स्ट्रिंग लेंथ इज टू हेयर ऑल्सो टू इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट टू एंड अगेन टू नो आई हैव फॉर्म्ड अ स्ट्रिंग आई हैव फॉर्म्ड अ सर्टन टर्मिनोलॉजी आई हैव फॉर्म्ड अ सर्टन आई हैव डिवाइज अ सर्टन रूल एंड बेस्ड अपॉन दैट रूल आई हैव रिटर्न फोर स्ट्रिंग्स नो please note it very carefully that in this case in this case i am referring to a particular language the language is over the alphabet a comma b and let us say the language is represented by l which has all the strings of string length 2 therefore the language will have the strings double a double b ab and ba only now there might be another language in which i want to write all the strings which start from a let us say the language is l1 and l1 is having all strings which start from a now let us try to write those strings now this language is defined over alphabet a comma b so the prerequisite is that the string should start from a only so the minimum string formed will be a only ab double a a triple a a B B A B A A triple B and so on. There can be infinite combinations of such strings because the only requirement in this case is that the string should start from A, which in all these strings is the case. All these strings follow the basic rule that the string is starting from A. So. based upon the last two examples studied in the first case l represents only four strings only four strings are formed in the language l but in the language l1 we see that there are infinite strings hence the important concept here is that language can be finite as well as infinite now in the next tutorial we'll be studying we'll be taking certain examples we'll explore more about these languages and if you like the video kindly like and subscribe my channel Thank you so much for watching this video.